then then goes on about you know the Mac Myron's big case, you know the math and jacks, you know like things like that. He goes on about those and says that he cannot remember. He cannot remember. Nah, bro, I'm not playing shit. I just cut my shit on so I can play after this fucking live. He goes on and says he doesn't remember the rest of the car. Oh, I'm not gonna lie to you. You also told us you wasn't gonna fucking lie to us whenever you made a whole fucking page. Like a bitch ass nigga. Bro, you was on champion with your closest friends. You was on champion with your closest friends and you made a page hating on your closest friends and bigging yourself up. You dumbass weirdo. Oh, I'm not. Oh, heavy half. Yeah, who was heavy half battling? Oh, he's battling heavy half. Snake Eyes battling heavy half. He's like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, you know, I don't know the rest of the car. I can guarantee you, I'm not sure if him and Snake Eyes have gotten into it or Snake Eyes have had a bar about, a bar about him. Either Snake Eyes or Heavy Half has either gotten into it with him or had a bar about him. Guarantee you. Because he's a bitch ass nigga. You are a fucking lame. That you only thing you did, you did some lame ass. I'ma tell you, I'ma tell you what Kenny Lewis and Vodafly did, right? He's a lame ass bitch nigga, and I'ma tell you why. I'ma tell you what this nigga did. This is an analogy type of type of reference, right? You know when when everybody y'all in the city that you know, and this bitch is getting smutted out, right? Her name is fucked up. So she go move the West Bubble fuck somewhere, and she think that shit restart shit, but every so often niggas comment on her post and let her know, like, bro, wasn't you little da-da-da from up the street that used to boom-boom-boom for da-da-da? That's the type of lame this nigga is. Bro, you went and made your own little show. You would, His little blonde, he, it might still say it in his, in his, um, in his, uh, bio, about how many views he had as a blogger and all that. But like, bro, you're a lame. It doesn't matter, bro. You can have 10 billion views. It's not going to change the fact that you are a sucker ass nigga as a fucking man, bro. You are you are a sucker ass excuse for a fucking man. You sat on a bro. I ain't never in my life. Nobody can ever find a post of me dogging my friends, bro. Like me really... Or making a fake page to dog my friends, bro. If you if you really a, if you if you feel that type of animosity, at least hold your nuts on there. Like be a nigga, be a grown ass man and say, bro, I'm not fucking with this. You went and made a whole fake page, hating on the whole channel. Niggas called you out and found out it was you. You disappeared from the culture and then snuck your way back in. And these lame ass niggas be accepting you, bro. I'm gonna tell you something that happened too. If y'all, I can't prove it because my old page is um my old page on Twitter is deleted. Bro, on my old page, he said something. It was about the Black Lives Matter type of thing, bro. It was like a Black Lives Matter type of thing. He had said something along the lines of, like, I hate when niggas do shit like this. Like, oh, we talking about how they killed Breonna Taylor, but we not talking about how we kill black men in the hood every day. Bro, shut the fuck up. After I saw that, I blocked him. I didn't say nothing, didn't comment, didn't argue with him. I blocked him. So he blocked me back. See, like, Twitter not like Facebook. If you block somebody, you can't find them. On Twitter, I'm going to tell you how I discovered it, that he blocked me back. I blocked him. Didn't say nothing. Somebody quoted his tweet. And then when I clicked on it, it was like, can't display tweet. I clicked on it. It said, Vodafly blocked you. He blocked me because I blocked him first. Like, that's the gayest shit in the fucking world. Like, do it. I'm cool with it. I'm not upset with it. But, bro, you are a lame-ass bitch. You a bitch ass nigga, bro. How you make a whole fucking fake page hating on the niggas that's your right hand men? Then you like, bro, you gonna do predictions, bro. You ain't even gotta act like you forgot the rest of the card. You could just say, hey, bro, I'm 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 gonna do predictions for three matchups. Boom, boom, boom. But you're not finna sit here and pretend you forgot the card. You ain't pretend you forgot. You didn't you didn't forget the card. You just a lame ass nigga. And I, I recognize that you're a lame ass nigga and I don't fuck with you. And you're mad because I made a bar about you versus lame ass nigga and I don't fuck with you. And you're mad because I made a bar about you versus TY. You don't go to events no more. And we not gonna act like this because you don't fuck with battle rap like that. Cause you used to be beating niggas meat in the honeycomb hideout. You used to be in a honeycomb hideout holding niggas nuts while they rap in the ward in the other hand. Because you felt you was somebody at that point. First of all, first of all, dickhead, I'm so sick of this nigga matching his hats to his jersey. It makes me so mad. 
Stop getting a solid Memphis Grizzly colored, the teal hat, and then wearing a teal jersey. I fucking hate that. Get an offset hat. Get a white hat, you dickhead. Bro, I know that full card is there. This nigga, come on, bro. Ain't nobody finna play with you like that. First of all, you 40 years old and you keep on, like, you be at events, used to be at events, overmatching. Nigga wear white tee, white hat, white white beater, white pants, and white forces, and white long socks. Boy, you not gonna offset it with some goddamn navy blue or something? Shit. Again, shouts out to Black Sheep Media for that. If you want to know what's happening, Battle Rap while it's happening, def definitely the channel to subscribe to, man. He be on it, out the gate, don't keep you long, get you in and out with what's happening all around the world when it come to Battle Rap. Black Sheep Media, shouts out to Slim Coleon, my guy. Needed to touch on this thing, man. So, Truth Watson, man, firing away at Vodafly. Firing away at Vodafly, calling him a Battle Rap groupie. He used to be on everybody so-called nuts when he was in a honeycomb hideout. He was in a honeycomb hideout. That don't sound like a play for me. <laughs> why are you why are you in a honeycomb hideout and you in cave gang? What you looking for in there? What you thought was in there? Like <laughs> what you thought was in there? Like come on man, these dudes horrible. No. No, 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 no. Truth Watson said you was on the nuts of all the guys in the honeycomb hideout. That sounds like the police academy blue blue oyster type thing, man. Like, man, what you dudes on, man? Then he goes on to even more to say, what type of dude is you? You should have been gone. You should have been out of here. Y'all, when he was like, he hated on his friends. When Truth Watson was just saying he hated on his friends, what he, well, let me for those of y'all who may not know who Truth Watson is, because he like an up and coming battle rapper whose career was sabotaged as a result of Norbs hating on him because of his relationship with Jazz the rapper. Truth Watson is known for being the guy who allegedly took Jazz the rapper's virginity. You know what I'm saying? When so many other people failed in it, okay? So that, that became the highlight of his career, being the guy to bust Jazz the rapper open. You know what I'm saying? Um, and Nor sabotaged his career as a result of that, according to Truth Watson. You know, that he was uh, obsessed with his relationship with Jazz, even when as far as telling Jazz's parents on her about them being together in jazz is well over the age of 24, 25. Like, come on. Anyway, um, Truth Watson, that that's the highlight of his battle rap career. Even though he is a good rapper, I will say that. He can rap. He actually good. He nice. He nice. I, I, I give him credit on that. He a good rapper, too. He can rap. He nice. Um, with that being said, so Vada Fly called itself disrespecting them by uh, the up-and-coming RBE card. And he wanted to just name the uh, people who he felt was important and to those who he didn't know, like Truth Watson and others on there, who may not be as notice noticeable as the Mav Hoffas that's on the card. He called himself taking a shot, shot at them. He called himself taking a shot at them and um, disrespecting them. You know, by saying they nobody's like. Truth Watson took offense to this and got the blasting away and exposing him on some male groupie type type stuff that he be doing. You know what I'm saying? And how he be on everybody jock and all this type of stuff. Riding the wave of everybody, a battle rap groupie. You know what I'm saying? Wanting to be the center of attention and wanting to be friends with everybody. Wanting to be noticed and acknowledged to everybody. Like, now you're trying to hate. He, then he goes on explaining to Butterfly how he's a rat, how much of a rat he is and a sucker he is and a guy who can't be trusted, who, who, who basically the highlight of his whole career is actually hating on his team and his friends. For those of y'all who don't know the history behind that, Butterfly was a small-time blogger 
Then Jay Black took notice of him and brought him under his wing and put him on the champion platform, along with him and Tech Nine. That was the uh, cast of the champion platform. It was Jay Black, Butterfly, Tech Nine. <sighs> Jay Black not knowing the type of dude Butterfly was at that time, Vada began to sabotage and try to take over the whole uh, channel. He wanted the middle seat where he could be seen, where the camera stay on him, so he wanted to sit in the middle. He started squeezing his fat ass head into them little hats where his face hung out like an upside down light bulb. Like, so his head used to hang out his hat. <laughs> <laughs> like a damn scarecrow. His head used to hang out his hat like a scarecrow, like 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 you put a hat on the sun type stuff, you know, like that. So the face part just hung out like he had the mumps, you know what I'm saying? Like like that. So he would be in the middle, so he could hog up all the camera. Then he started going far as making fake profiles. Look how retarded this dude was. So Jay Black take him in, put him on his channel as a small time blogger. Then he put him on his channel. Then his views and subscribers started uh, growing as a result of that. 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, you know. So he became like a part of the champion URL family and platform. He got accepted into Cave Gang and became the chauffeur of the Cave Gang, driving, rocking him around to, you know, events and things like that. So he, he was, you know, loving where he was at. He into like at that time the number one battle rap group in the, in the, in, the, in the league. Then you were URL. Then you on the biggest uh, battle rap blogging channel and battle rap champion. So he had it going for him as far as what Battle Rap has to offer. Your household name, so people want you to come to their events. Then that wasn't good enough for him. So what he started doing was creating fake profiles, pretending to be other people when it was actually him. So when Champion would be on, on and, and they shows would be uploading, he'll be in the comments dogging out Jay Black and Tech 9 saying things like, Oh, this show wouldn't be nothing if Butterfly wasn't on here. These guys some weirdos, man. He need to do this. He need to try to make it seem, you know, just putting the narrative out there as though he's the one that's making the show. He's the one making the show. So he had like three different profiles making it seem like these three different people that's praising him for being the one that's carrying the show when it's actually him trying to direct all the attention to him at, at the, while Jay Blackman was the reason why he was on the show paying him everything so he get the hating on them but at the same time smiling in their face acting like they the best of friends and that they real cool and that they you know what I'm saying all homies and things like that so he wanted to take over this brother house cause champion is shot in that man's house so he wanted to take over this brother house <laughs> he wanted to move in this man's house, take over his house, set up shop in this man's living room, like, and call the show his and put them up under him when it was actually really Jay Black show because he had a little muscles and was <laughs> in the army, like, trying to bully, bully and get a man into giving up his show, like. Dog, get up out of here. No. No, 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 no. Then he was found out by Jay Black. Jay Black started investigating him because these guys who were so-called on there, their obsession started getting stronger and stronger that it drew Jay Black attention that he started looking into it, investigating it, and found out that it was actually no other than Vodafly himself operating these fake accounts, sabotaging them, and trying to uh, 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 shame them and disrespect them and make him be the one that's over the show. And it was actually him. From a result of this, Jay Black and them got mad, kicked him off the show. 
the URL dropped him, and he got kicked out of Cave Game. Then he had to, then he went into seclusion, started hiding and being scared and all this type of stupid stuff, man. And you know, according to Truth Watson, he can't go to certain events because it's a lot of people like him and other people that already want to go upside his head. As a result, I guess of him just being corny like that, you know. So, yeah, he started doing all that. Then he wanted to kiss butt and get right back into Cave Gang again, you know. And that's what I'm saying. That's a funny dude. He's so fake it ain't it ain't funny. Like you seeing all these allegations on Rock, three different trannies, like three different. You think that bother him? Mm -mm. He want to be tied into them so bad. It ain't funny. He still, it don't bother him. As long as he on the team, he okay with it. Even though he's seeing what the leader is doing. Like, who, you, you that lonely? You that lonely? These dudes horrible, man. These dudes is horrible. So, I feel you, Truth Watson, man. These dudes lame, man. <sighs> It is what it is, though, man. So, there y'all have it. Truth Watson's blast off on uh, Vodafly. Letting it be known, you know, he, he covered it all. I ain't really got to say nothing, man. Hey, he covered it all. I just wanted to give people uh, some background in case they don't understand what he was talking about to some degree or what was going on. And it is what it is. It's your boy, Battle Truth. Make my job and ask some questions if yours. Hit the link in the description box. Subscribe to Battle Truth, man. Um, I guess. Y'all tell me, man. Y'all tell me. Oh, subscribe to my channel and join my Patreon. If you're not a member of my Patreon, join my Patreon. Remember, anytime I drop something on here, I also drop on my Patreon. So, join my Patreon. Shouts out to Slim Coleon again for the... Um, for the, uh, you know, for keeping keeping track on everything that's going on in battle rap. Subscribe to the channel if you want to know what's going on all around the world in battle rap while it's happening. <laughs> Black Sheep Media, that's the channel to subscribe to. And it's your boy Battle Truth. Make my judgment, ask some questions. It's your subscribe to Battle Truth.